An off-grid dating show. That's not something you usually see every day. You know, it's usually mansions, pools, and overly aggressive cameramen who ask one too many questions. Right. Well, this show called Love Off the Grid is definitely not that. So the premise of this show is one person comes from the city with all these modern amenities and the other one lives off grid. Let's just say it gets a little interesting. I'm not trying to take a poop holding my boyfriend's hand. That's disgusting. Our first couple is Jen and Charlie. There we go, huh, sweet home? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Jen. Apparently they've dated before like 25 years ago and are now back together trying again. The reason that it didn't work out for Jen and I was because it was me. I had a, a wandering spirit. He was the love that didn't work out. Like, he was the love I just had to move on from. Sounds like fate, if you ask me. What if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? You know? I'll go outside. I'll go outside. Or you can go outside. I'm not going outside. Why not? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going outside and waiting in the dark. I'm scared of little things. There's no little things you have to worry about. I've got it all snakes. handled. I think I've got rid of my <laughs> all the snakes. <laughs> oh, Charlie. This couple has to be my favorite out of the whole show because they're just so genuine. Like, they just seem so real to me. I don't know. Then there's Angela and Josh. Plant a tree here. You will always be able to come back. It'll always be a home for you. Josh's reaction to my place wasn't what I expected. Not only do they live completely separate lives, but they're also 30 years apart in age. They don't last long though, because even on their first day together, Josh is already not prepared for the off-grid life. You're over here just like, I do this all the time by myself. <laughs> I just realized I had a little blister. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, just when I thought I was tough. The first day of Josh being here at the ranch, he ended up sleeping on a bed that I had outside. I mean, what do you expect? You can already tell that they're not gonna last. And that's just because they're both on different wavelengths. Like you can't, they just don't mesh well. They thought they did, but they don't. Next is Spence and Lindsay. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Yay, improvement to the cabin homestead. There's not much to say about these two because they're probably the most low key couple on the show. And that's gonna be the pooper. Sweet. And I uh, made it pretty big enough to have two seats in it. And Wait, yeah, whoa. the door will be right here. Two seats? Two seats. I mean, who's gonna be okay with that? <laughs> I've always had a funny joke living off grid that I've always wanted to find a pooping partner because trying to find a relationship or build a relationship with anyone out here in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere off grid, very, very difficult because they look at you like you're crazy. A pooping partner, really? Okay, yeah. Definitely different living, of course, because you don't have all the amenities of like a normal house, indoor plumbing, all of that kind of fun stuff. So where does your water come from? Uh, I actually haul uh, 500 gallons of water up in here. So it's all like potable water and everything, but yeah, I have to drive into town, get it, bring it back out here, pump it into another tank. That's a lot of work. He says he does it every week. Like, that's ridiculous. In a way, it kind of, it makes the water mean more. If you don't have like a direct access to it, I can, I mean, I can definitely see the appeal of this lifestyle for sure. So I get it and I think it's super interesting to be honest with you. Yeah, so this guy. Uh, take a shovel, go dig a hole somewhere and yep, you just <laughs> put that over the hole, sit down and- This make... is what you use? Uh, just like out in the open? Out in the open, with the wildlife. Although, that is a bit extreme. <laughs> they don't even have like a separate room for a bathroom. They just go out in the open. Eh, I mean, that's a bit too much. That's, that's a bit too much, but, but they do end up building an outhouse, so I will give them that credit. <laughs> You know, it'd be nice to like eventually uh, upgrade. So hopefully Spence will uh, be able to build an outhouse in the near future. Yeah, you built this whole house. Where's the outhouse? Uh, she keeps bugging me. He built that entire house. He's got my respect. That's really, that's insane. 
Because, you know, you might just think, oh, I'm just going to drill in some wood. No. To build a house, it's like this big project. That's, that's, that is insane. Like, I, I have so much respect for people that live off-grid because there's so much that you didn't know that you needed to do. And that is just, that is literally insane that he built that entire house. But I'm pretty sure all the other couples did too, so... Still, uh, that's crazy. I could not do that. I could not just go out in the middle of the woods and just build something. No way. There's a, there's a gnat. I, Oh my god! And finally, Joe and Maisha. Hey! Alright, you ready to get out and see yeah, it? Yeah, I'm excited. Alrighty. It's a lot. My name is Mia, and I'm dating Joe and Maisha. These two are already accustomed to living off grid together, but are looking to add a third person into the mix. If you know what I mean. So you're having individual relationships with all of these women, is that? No, they, they have relationships with each other as well. That's why it's a web, not a line. Are there other dudes? Uh, not in the household, but they're more than welcome to find, have playmates outside of okay. us. Can't argue with that. They're just doing their own thing on their own property. I see no issue. This will be the living side. Kitchen, here's the front door. It's so pretty out there. Right? There's the pond over there. There's that view that Mama likes. The best view. All right. What are you going to put out there underneath that big old tree? A bench. Oh. A swing. Mm -hmm. Where are they all going to sleep? I, I see the tent in front of the house. I mean, the house isn't even built yet. I don't see, you know, Mia said that she was excited about homesteading and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff, yet I see none of that happening. I, <laughs> they speak of it, they don't show it. I don't know. I definitely, I love this show. And I say that because it's just like, it's totally my vibe. I know this is only like the first season and there's not much going on, you know, I'm just trying to like show you some of the couples and what it all, you know, all that jazz. But I just, I, I do appreciate though how kind of like real this show is. And I, I say that because in so many other ones, especially like The Bachelor and some of those shows, they are just, they're like, they're not fake, but they're so dramatized. And you can tell in the show that like there's some drama, but from what I've seen so far, it's pretty real and I can, respect that the that the show does that okay stay cool